here we are one second hello let me give you a bigger picture hello okay so let me tell you about spawn core all right spawn core we basically help the homeless we get them clothes okay we get them food and then we train them in stuff like this this go language so that they can get a fulfilling job make good money and not be on the streets um, you know this is pretty much us right here giving the last slices of pizza to the gentleman who had just walked up and they basically hadn't eaten anything to eat the whole day and they were so happy to see two slices of pizza still left yo I felt so wonderful but anyways let's get started shall we spawn core if you want to donate, you can donate 50 cents. You know what I mean? Just saying, like, if you really wanted to, you could do this and then that. And then you could just hit other and then you could click continue. And you could put, like, whatever you wanted. And we could get 50 cents for this, you know. But, hey, if you don't have it, it's all good. We're just trying to help people achieve the things that they're entitled to because, you know, God is good. Anyways, let's get let's begin. So we're going to learn this today, Go programming language. We're going to learn how to get user input. Okay, so here we go. First thing you want to do is you want to get into an editor. So to me, a Mac is where it's at. So I'm going to do nano. Okay. And then I'm going to do package. My uh, brightness is kind of down. Let me raise my brightness up. Sorry about that. Eh, a little bit more. All right. Nano, packet, I'm sorry, well, let me think, we're going to call this, how about we call it, get user, right, input, dot go, got it, all right, bam, problem is, is I don't like this, so let's get out of this real quick, because it's already done, that's no fun, that's no fun, that's no fun. Let's get rid of that. Let's let's remove that real quick. Okay. Boom. Now let's 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 go ahead. Now by the way, if you didn't know about RM, it basically means remove. But like I said, I'm on a Mac. I don't know anything else outside of that right now. I just wanna get it working on a Mac. Okay? So nano, bam. Okay. Sorry about that. I, I got this really good beer in my hand. It's a not your mama's apple pie beer is my favorite, but hold on. Okay, let's begin, shall we? So, package main. You need one of those. You need that because remember we talked about the initiator, okay? We have to have something start. Something has to begin. And it always, the programs always look for the word main before they begin. So we got to say main package, but... Because it's programming, it's the package main. Got it? All right, great. So, import this little library. Now, let me tell you something about Go language, okay? It is no different from Python, no different from Ruby, no different from C, no different from C++, no different from Java, no different from none of them guys. Because bottom line, you always are working with the API or the package. You see what I'm saying? So this right here this is the difference between you and java okay so just make this just a little heads up if you're out there trying to learn every freaking language in the world you're just wasting your time just learn one good one and then when you learn the apis then you can just grab whatever you need from them okay so just in case we had some little haters out there and people were thinking oh my language is better than yours just shut up all right so let's get started funk Basically mean function, okay? We gotta do main. We're gonna, this is our main. See, the, so when you say the word function, you gotta, you gotta do this open parentheses and close parentheses. The other day, my coworker and we were talking, and you know what the word of this is called? This is called an open brace, okay? I've always been, for my entire life, I've been calling this the initiator, because I didn't know how to else refer to it. But, the proper the proper term for this little bugger here is called an open brace. Well, a curly brace, because an open brace is actually that. One more time. An 
open brace is this. I'm sorry, open curly brace is this. And a brace is that. Okay. Now, imagine if we wrote a program that actually could get user input. That means that you could basically make your own artificial intelligence type of thing that could collect all kinds of data and you could keep telling it things and it would just keep getting smarter. Well, I'm about to show you how to do that. All right, so open curly brace. And we're going to do a little tab. I like tabs. I don't like spaces. I'm sorry. I'm one of those people. I will kirk out on you if you give me a freaking million like spaces. I love tabs. All right, there we go. And so if you watch Silicon Valley, um, you'll probably see why I like tabs because it's precise. Like I don't really have to think about it. So just a little heads up. I like tabs. All right, so in and put name got it all right that's the variable that we're going to use that's going to mean you it means you like whatever you're basically looking for in regards to the variable the main ingredient of this whole program it's this right here input me get it okay now then we're going to tab again we're going to do str1 okay little Quotation equals me, me basic meaning it equals this. And you're gonna say, here you go. Ready? Here we go. What is your name? Got it? Okay, so what this space is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to do one main thing. That one main thing that we're gonna basically be trying to do is something real, real simple. We're basically trying to get the user to understand what we want from them. Get it? So we got to say FMT. Remember this back in the day? Remember this? Remember this? Oh, we're going to print a line. And guess what we're going to print? Because we're going to print. I don't want to type in this ever again. What is your name? Because it may come up again. So I made it a variable so that way I could just say this. And every time I do that, it'll always say, what is your name? I could print that twice if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that right now. The next line, tab, we're going to put FMT dot. Now, here's a secret sauce. You was trying to figure out what was the secret sauce for me putting the program, your name, into a variable. You were trying to figure out that whole time. This is the line right here scan the the word is scan it's not print ln no more it's scan if you want user input you got to use the word scan and you do quotations excuse me percent sign s i think that means basically where are you going to put this thing where is it going to drop in how is it going to drop in and we're going to do comma, okay? We're going to do an and sign, and we're going to say in, get it, put. Guess what? Come on, you, you remember this. You remember this is way up in the top. Look where it says this. Come on, you see it. Input. Oh, I had a spelling error. Look at that. I had a spelling error. Let me fix that spelling error. Bam, now it makes sense. Input name, input name. So, in case you didn't catch that, this is equal to this. Okay? All right. So, let's go ahead and let's close this brace. Close the brace. And then we're going to do, here it comes, ladies and gentlemen, FMT. Dot. This is the main one. This is we're going to tell the user what we think of them okay now I, I know i want to say the eat and die but that would be really bad we don't want to say that so we're just going to say hello if you spelled your name right okay 
then here we go hello quotation comma oops comma now see the quotation how they closed it see how they closed it and the magic and the magic magic variable in put name this is amazing ladies and gentlemen I think we're gonna go for it and then we gotta close the program what is that called what would you call that I would call that a close curly brace got it okay now we're gonna save it here we go here we go oh shoot moment of truths moment of truths here we go go run What is your name? See, it skipped too fast. What did we do wrong? What did we do wrong? It did so fast. What did we do wrong? Okay, where we left off was me like flipping out because I was like, yo, why is my stuff not working? So let me bring you up to date. What basically I've done, let me get out, and I'm going to show you it running. Run. Okay, what is my name? Corey. It says, hello. If you spelled your name right, then hello, Corey. Here's the thing. I'm lazy. I'm, I'm freaking lazy. I was playing around, copy, pasting code, and then I figured out why I have a problem. Now, if you have GitHub, then you'll more than likely appreciate this. So I'm going to show you. You see this? This this is how people like to do these things in code. When you program in code, you can use GitHub to figure out where your error is, and you can figure out how you fixed your mistake, so you can tell everyone how you fixed your mistake. So as you see, there was a plus. We basically put a line up there. There wasn't before. There was no line. Then we spaced it out spaced it out a little bit make sure we had you know extra lines but what really comes to my mind is see how this one's red this means that we took something out so I'm gonna comment this and I'm gonna say um, removed the comma and things went well right and that should be about right. So I'm going to add that right there. Bam. Now, if you was coming behind me and you was looking at my code, you would click this to figure out what I learned, and then it would have told you that comma right there. So that's why people use GitHub, because they can come back to a previous time when they made the mistake and they can figure out what they did wrong, they can fix it, and then someone can turn around and then say, hey, man, this is how you could do it. Put this part in your code or you get the point. So that's about it. And then that's it. We're going to just uh, say, you know, um, removed the comma and comma. Bam. And that's it. So now when you go back into the repo and you click on get right here, and let's just say you want to see the history, you could do that and then it will show you all of the history see so that's what about github but yeah you get the point the point the point was we was, we was like we had forgot the comma you know I say we but me but I had got all the way down here and I was right about here and put a comma so the moral of the story is is don't put a comma in until you're ready to put your variable name in. You feel me? Because when you do the comma, somehow it tries to bring this into here somewhere. So you don't want to do that. And that concludes our get user input. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time and we'll see you later.